Network. So the lack of diversity in the nominations for the Oscars once again has sparked calls for a boycott of the Academy Awards. Jada Pinkett Smith announcing that she will not attend after her husband Will Smith failed to win a nomination for the role in the movie Concussion. The head of the Academy saying that she is frustrated as well, saying, quote, I am both heartbroken and frustrated about the lack of inclusion. This is a difficult but important conversation, and it is time for big changes. And now there's pressure on Chris Rock to bow out as host with less than six weeks to go before the big night. David Webb is host of The David Webb Show on Sirius XM Patriot. Leslie Marshall is syndicated radio talk show host in both their Fox News contributors. Welcome uh, to both of you. Good to have you both here. Good morning. So this Good is the morning, second, uh, second year in a row that we've heard um, these kinds of criticisms of the Academy, which is at last count about 94% white and 76% male, uh, the voting population of the Academy. David, what do you make of this? <laughs> Martha, look. The Oscar goes to the same play we've seen before. What we have essentially here are the Al Sharpton victimology crowd trying to get a blame across America on racists by using a group of Hollywood insiders who vote on each other over their gift baskets, and it's all <laughs> about self-promotion. Come on. Chris Rock tweets out, what did he say? This is the white BET Awards. Has anybody watching this ever watched the BET Awards and most of their awardees? This is ridiculous. This is what they do, and they just keep trying to push a narrative into the president of the Academy who apologized for the lack of inclusion. You know what? Movies are about making money, putting butts in seats, and when you're making money, that's what matters. Star Wars isn't complaining. They're going to make a billion dollars. They're just playing the let's be inclusive game. They're voting on it. America, don't put up with them. Leslie, what do you think? Well, David and I don't totally disagree on this one. As somebody uh, myself who has acted on stage, on television, and in film, I feel that awards should be given for talent. I won't mention names, but I don't think that's always the case. Well, I do have to say, sitting one. here uh, sitting here near Hollywood, I feel that the Academy Awards are sort of like that popularity contest in high school, Martha, uh, and, and it's a very uh, who's who and, and clicky circle. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't always include minorities. And that's not just African Americans, although we hear a lot from the African American community today. That's Latinos. That's women over 40. The bottom line is the Academy Awards have become over the years more political, but I do think with the diversity of the audience and people paying that money, they should be more reflective, Asian Americans as well, uh, with who they are nominating yeah. and who are winning mm. in those categories. Uh, I mean, it you know, it's, not a, it's a commercial yeah. endeavor, and as David points out, and as you're saying, you know, I mean, it's sort of an insider's club. They all work together. They want to nominate each other. And that sort of pure evaluation that you're looking for, Leslie, and that I, that I love to look for in movies, and there's so many movies that are, are good that never get any sort of nod, and then you get the sort of, you know, well, isn't it his turn award that we uh, get uh, from time to time as well. Um, it just is not that kind of measure anymore, David. So, you know, perhaps people shouldn't expect it to be, or maybe we should put pressure on them to do exactly that to pick so, films that really do recognize talent and recognize merit regardless of the color of the people in them. Right, and this is where Leslie and I diverge. There, I'll play on the name of another movie that probably didn't get an award, the Divergent series over the years. Uh, they don't need to reflect their audience, Asians, whatever. It's a private industry making money, selling movies, voting on each other. If the movies are based on merit, then how about a meritocracy? Come up with a system that says we will gauge the movie based on its audience size, its uh, how many butts they put in the seats, yeah. the total money made. Let's come up with a set of standards, and when you well, meet the you, standard, you, know, you, get a, you get a nomination. Uh, but look, in Hollywood, just spell their name right, and it's publicity, and that's what they well, care about. You know, one of the articles that I read this morning talked about um, how, it, you know, given everything that's going on in this country, um, what happened in Ferguson, and mm. all of the Black Lives Matter movement, that there should have been more attention given to movies like Straight Outta Compton or movies like Creed or yes. Beasts of No Nation, which I've heard is excellent and, you know, may have been yes. genuinely overlooked. Um, but, you know, however, as you point out, that's not really the job of, of movies to reflect what's going on in the country. But uh, one
one woman, Aunt Viv, who apparently has sort of, she played Aunt Viv on, yes. on the Fresh Prince of Be Be Bel Air. She has some choice words. I guess they've had a long time feud going on, so maybe this isn't that much of a, of a surprise, but here are her thoughts on Jada Pinkett Smith <laughs> and Will Smith. People are dying, our boys are being shot left and right, uh, people are hungry, people are starving, people are trying to pay bills, and you talk about some motherfucking actors uh, in Oscars, and it, it just ain't that deep. What do you think about what she had to say, Leslie? Well, you know, being here in Los Angeles where week after week there are award shows with uh, beautiful gowns and uh, very expensive handbags and jewelry, and it's a bubble that these people live in, and many of us here in Los Angeles roll our eyes and complain about further traffic uh, that these awards, because you, you, what you're giving is the, the, the haves more to have, and you're giving the egomaniacs uh, and inflating that ego more. But with regard to the Academy, one of the problems is the... Uh, the, the voting pool, and, and like you said, white guys, you need to have more diversity there. I think Why? it's just uh, fair, not just for employment. And, and quite frankly, Leslie, I have seen straight out of I Compton, and I have, I, I have seen Idris Elba on that screen. Not only a brilliant actor, I know, but, but Leslie, Martha, brilliant to look Leslie, at as well. Quick comment, I David, then we gotta you. go. I love you, but listen, white people can vote for black people too if they want to. They're not white, and that means they're not gonna <laughs> vote for black people if they haven't earned it. Come up with a set of standards. The American people are looking at this and going, Hollywood hypocrisy, it's publicity, just spell my name right. <laughs> W-E-B-B. -B. <laughs> thank you very much, David. <laughs> Leslie, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you both. Thank you.